On this episode of Travels with Bill, we're in Hinton, Alberta to check out something kind of cool train-wise. But before we do, let's talk a little bit about Hinton. We're on the main drag through town. Now about 10,000 people live in Hinton. We're looking at one of the carvings just outside the Visitor Information Center. We'll head inside in a second because we've got a question to ask them. Hinton unfortunately has some, well, rather somber train history. It was February of 1986 when 23 people died just outside of Hinton in a big rail disaster. Unfortunately, that's one of the biggest death tolls in any Canadian rail disasters. You can see the railway track just across the highway there. This building is beautiful. You can head on in here to find out all about information on the area, not just Hinton itself. Look at the inside. Ooh, that's well built, isn't it? Lots of brochures here. So if you're heading off to the Rockies like we are shortly, you'll find out about Jasper, Banff, plus everything else going on in the north, central, and even southern parts of Alberta, and some friendly staff here to help you out as well. Now, the question I had for them is, what's with the train in front of A&W? And they weren't able to tell me. No one in the restaurant could tell me either, so maybe you know more about this train than I do. Check it out. Just down the street at the A&W, here's a train. It's number nine. Now, at first, it looks like it's just an ornament, but the more you look, the more you realize there has to be some story with exactly how this got to be here and what it used to do. Because on the side of it, there's a coin acceptor, and it certainly looks like it maybe used to move, or at least honk, or, well, do something. I spent a bunch of time on Google trying to figure it out. Couldn't get any luck there either, but it's kind of a neat train. It's painted these days in A&W colors, but I suspect it maybe started out in a different color scheme than that. It's Canadian National Railways number no. 9, though. Well, at least a smaller edition of it. There's that coin acceptor. So obviously at one point this thing took coins. And for it to have taken coins, there must have been some electricity involved, and it must have done something. Maybe it was just making train noises. But if you look inside, there's certainly some stuff here. Not enough for it to have ever actually been a steam locomotive. Lots of it's for show. Some of it's pretty authentic, though. The Westinghouse pressure gauge is there. Uh, and even on the front, that looks like a real steam whistle, too. Neat train to stop and take a picture at with the kids, though. Some yummy food inside at the AW. We actually had lunch here while we were busy. Moving on along for more Travels with Bill episodes. But I saw this and thought, we just had to take a look. So if you do know the history of this train, we'd love to have it in the comments down below so everyone can figure out exactly what it is. And when they visit Hinton, they can stop here and well, do better than I did at figuring out exactly what that's all about. Quick view of the downtown part of Hinton here too, because it's pretty cool. Well, at least this is the tourist part of it, I suppose. There are a lot of people in Hinton, so if you're just driving through this main drag and stop right away on your way heading west, you don't necessarily see a lot of it, but you see more as far as you go here. Hinton carries on for a while, but check out this kind of classic main street. This is all just walking distance from that A&W, because that's the only place we stopped when we were in town. You know, this is part of our series about the Rocky Mountains. We've got lots of episodes on the channel about every place we went in Banff, Cadmore, and much more. So make sure you stick around, check that out. Think about subscribing, because we'd love to have you seeing every episode as it comes out. Well, that's it from downtown Hinton, Alberta, at least in the more easterly part where you stop for some food when you're heading on into town. Look at those beautiful flowers. Just amazing. Hey, you know what? We'll see you next time on the next episode of Travels with Bill.